Y'all, this is the first episode of Back in the Day because I heard about this story, but I never knew the outcome. So we're in Nova Scotia. This is Barbara and her nephew, Tyrone. Barbara said that she had, um, you know, lottery numbers to play and she gave the Tyrone the money and the tickets to go play. And they won. Now, Tyrone said it was supposed to be half. $1.2 million was supposed to be, half of that was supposed to be his. Barbara said, hell to the now. Now she got uh, half and he got half, but she sued him. So they froze it. Okay. They froze his half. Now, uh, a year later, they did go to mediation and they agreed that he would get $350,000 and she uh, got $850,000. Now, a year later, they did go back and say, how are you feeling about everything? And Barbara said she's hurt because Tyrone was like a son to her and she never had any intention of him getting half the winnings, okay? So what are you guys' thoughts? Do you think she was right to sue her nephew? Um, he didn't get half. He got three hundred fifty thousand dollars. I wonder how much the lawyers 57 got. Fifty-seven-year-old Barbara Give me your thoughts. and her nephew, nineteen-year-old Tyrone McGinnis, arrived separately at the Bordeauxbury Courthouse this morning. But after five hours of meeting behind closed doors together, the two came to a mutual agreement. The terms being that of the six hundred and eleven thousand three hundred nineteen dollars and fifty cents at issue, Mr. McGinnis will receive three hundred and fifty thousand dollars and Ms. Reddick will receive $261,319.50. Bringing Reddick's total winnings to more than $800,000. I'm taking him to court. I'm getting my lawyer tomorrow. The mood much different more than two months ago when Reddick and McGinnis arrived to collect the more than $1.2 million Marguerite Chase the Ace jackpot. I put his name on the ticket for good luck. Why did you do that? Because he's like a son to me. He was. Reddy claimed she gave McGinnis money to buy tickets, but says there was never any agreement to split the big prize. When they were given separate checks, the lawsuit was on. But today, those feelings changed, according to Reddick's lawyer. They are both satisfied with the terms of the settlement. It was reached mutually in order to avoid further court proceedings and to bring this matter to a final conclusion. Last month, Nova Scotia Supreme Court Justice Patrick Murray decided to freeze McGinnis' share of the winnings and instead offered a date for mediation. After some discussion, both parties agreed. How they came to the agreement today is unclear. Both lawyers didn't take any questions from media, only offering a joint statement. Both parties are looking forward to putting this matter behind them and there'll be no further media comments made. A quiet end to a family feud that attracted national attention. And Steve, both Barb Rennick and Tyrone McGinnis declined comment this afternoon. Uh, they both left their separate ways, so it's unclear at this point how their relationship will be moving forward. Steve. But we do know how they're divvying up the pot. It's been quite a story. Thanks, Kyle.